Welcome back everyone to episode 4 of working on this pressure vessel. So, so far we defeatured it, we mid-surfaced it, we enclosed all our holes, we took care of our free edges, and uh, I believe we are ready to set up our meshing. So, to get started, uh, oh yeah, we also entered our material and our properties because we're gonna the pieces that we mid surfaced we're gonna use plate elements and uh, the legs we're gonna keep them as solid elements and this is where we're gonna get started let's take care of our uh, meshing of our uh, supports these legs we have three of them so let's go to mesh we're gonna seed it first so mesh control size on solid okay we're gonna pick this one, this one, and this one. Highlight it, good. Okay. Uh, tetrahedral meshes, and just leave the automatic uh, default size that he picks, and click OK. If we zoom in, we can see how it seeded it. Nice. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and actually mesh it now. So mesh, mesh control, size on solid, no, not mesh control, geometry, uh, solids. Select all three of them. Good, okay. Here, make sure we select the property. We said we're gonna deal with two kinds, right? He automatically knows that out of the two, this is the one that would match. So the solid element, very good. I'm gonna pick only tetrahedral mesh only, and uh, since we are not necessarily going for uh, high accuracy, I just want fast results. I'm gonna take the mid side nodes off. And okay, look at it working. Bam, very good. And if we take a look nicely done very good it meshed it okay all three of them right yeah good now let's go ahead and set up our plate uh, meshing first I'm gonna combine all the pieces of the tank so they are easier to select so I'm gonna do a geometry solid add and uh, let's see oh we can select it here too so I need this one, this, 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 all these selected, okay, there you have it, and uh, verify, okay, there you go, now we have the three legs and the body. In order to have an easier time meshing the uh, tank, let's hide the legs, so I'm gonna go up here, make sure, not that one, this one right here, make sure add, select all inside, they select multiple, and here the solid. I'm gonna select this one, this one, and this one. Now right click, visibility, hide selected. Now we hit the geometry, and I also gonna hit the mesh. There you go. Good. Now all we have left is the tanks properties. Good, so let's go ahead and do our mesh seeding, mesh control, size on surface. Now here we can just do a box select on all of these. Good, uh, highlight, make sure nothing's missing. Good, okay. Here, keep the default, okay. And if we zoom in, we can see how it seeded every single surface. Very good. Now we can go mesh, geometry, surface, select. Uh, again, we have to do the box select. If we do select all, it's going to bring in the legs too. So that's not good. So do a box select. No highlight, there you go, see, no legs, very good, okay, 
quad quadrilateral or triangular let's try quadrilateral for now and over here plate remember make sure you select the correct one but in this case it's smart enough to know that hey uh, this setup need requires your option that you set up for plate element okay and merging merging oh it, it we hit the mesh there you go okay Oof. all right let's hide the geometry there you go now you can see it more clearer okay we have things meshed okay just a little heads up that in this tutorial we are not worrying about mesh quality or mesh refinement if you wanted a good representation of reality you need to worry about those things but that's not the scope of this tutorial and that uh, would mean that you would have to go into pl places like uh, let's see over here see these kind of elements are not gonna perform good calculations they are too distorted you would have to uh, refine the number of elements in these circles to be more of them so they can break up in more nicer pieces same around here and uh, over here we gonna go the lazy route where we just gonna do a glued contact but if you wanted a better representation you would need to uh, project this surface onto the surface of the tank over there mesh it in such a way where the number of your elements and the size of your elements will match the ones that we have on this side of the support let me turn the plate ones off see they are all nice triangles so whatever you create on the side of the tank needs to match perfectly here and then your nodes will fall in the same location on the tank and the support therefore you can match since they are like coincident nodes and then you have a proper mesh for us we're just gonna do glued contact it's easier and faster and not as accurate but it will get the job done all right so before I, I do the gluing let me do something else first because every time we do something in this window the stuff gets uh, written and then just uh, goes further and further in the past so if you guys noticed when we created the mesh we had a bunch of red stuff appear here and it's complaining about this surface and this surface so let's go ahead and take a look at these surfaces and see what's going on with them maybe we can fix them or do something so let's take a look at 3094 so what we can do go to window show entities and pick a point curve whatever we're working with but we want to look at surface so pick surface pick a color that you want it displayed okay this comes up and over here we can enter 3094 3094 and click OK and it will appear let me hide the geometry so we can see it better so let's see what kind of oh it's a very tiny little, little sliver that we accidentally left over here all right we can go ahead and delete that right very good let's take a look at the other one which was where is it the, the more we do stuff see these get uh, pushed further and further away so let's take a look at 3067 so back to show entity surface okay 3067 3067 okay oh on the other side of it oh there's another one on the other side uh-huh 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 okay so let's go ahead and remove these two so they stop giving us headaches right let's go ahead and delete those go to delete geometry surface type in here the two numbers 3067 okay delete and delete 
to geometry surface 3094. Okay, okay, good. Okay, let's fix our areas where we need to create glued contact as well. So we need to glue this region. So we need to know, have an idea of what kind of distance we're talking about here. So let's find two nodes that are fairly close to each other. Uh, maybe these two. Okay, so pick this one. I'm giving on nodes. Pick that one. Okay, and then pick the next one. That one. Cancel. So we need some kind of a distance that is uh, bigger than this 0 0.01, right? So we'll put a 0 0.02, and it should suffice. Okay, go to connect up here. Automatic. Select the bodies that we want to work with. Let's do one leg at a time. So we'll do this one and this one. Okay. Now here, the tolerance. This is where we need to put... Remember, our distance was 0 0.01. So we'll put 0 0.02. We're going to have a face-to-face -face glued contact. Okay. Now, before we go further, let's go ahead and double check what it created. So here, go to connections, that's where the contact will be, and open up the connection. We have regions, connections, all these. This is what we just created, connectors, right? Right click, go to edit. Now, we have two pieces of solids to face to face right so we have two faces that connected to each other we're gonna one's gonna be a target or a master the other one's gonna be a source or a slave so we can check this one let's go with the master first edit master and here we can click on it and it will highlight what it where it is this one is good sometimes it detects more than one surfaces and then we need to remove it and make sure only the one we are interested in stays. The here, everything looks okay, so click OK. Now check the slave. Uh-oh, there you go. We have two surfaces. See, he's detected two surfaces. He wants to glue the surface of this thing to this one and this one. This doesn't make any sense, right? We're gluing to this one, so make sure you remove this one. There you go, leave only the one that makes sense. Click OK. And click OK. Very good. Now let's go ahead and delete our mesh that we had created. Go to Model, Mesh, select all. OK, OK. There you go, everything is gone. Uh, let's also reset the edges. Mesh, Mesh Control, Size Along Curve, All, OK, and click Reset right here. And it will get rid of all the seeds that were planted. Let's make sure we create the contact regions for the other two legs as well. Connect, Automatic, it's going to be between this surface and turn off the tank. Oh, it's still on. Well, that's the region, there you go connector was on and the other surface would be this one right here oh solid so I didn't have to it figured it out on its own so face to face glued and this one we said needs to be that okay good okay let's turn everything back on uh, and this is the, this region right the cancel Let's do a verification on this one as well. Edit. Master. There's only one. Cool. Slave. Again, two of them. So which one's correct? Is that one correct? Or this one correct? This one. We are working with this leg. So this one can go bye-bye. Alright. Verify again. Okay, we can go here and highlight and see see the yellow edge. Good. 
so we matched it correctly good okay third leg connect automatic this and this okay face to face glued fix the tolerance okay go back this one cancel this one over here uh, edit masters only one good this one again one wrong one right so this one we need to get rid of this one's the good one. okay good okay okay let's set up the mesh again the same way like before mesh control size on solid um, this one this one and that one okay uh, tet that's good leave it as is okay good we can go ahead mesh geometry solids this one this one and this one okay solid element make sure that that only I'm gonna turn this off the exact same se steps as before so I'm just trying to hurry and good mesh mesh control size on surface let's see uh, da -da -da -da. I'm gonna turn the legs off the mesh good we can do a box select here to here cool cool okay cancel mesh geometry surface all of these do you pick no that's wrong pick box here to here okay plate good quad is fine everything else okay okay good done mesh okay do we let's turn off geometry let's turn off maybe the contact regions so those oranges are out of the way good okay okay did we have a bunch of red warning like last time? We did not. I'm super happy for that. Right? Cool. Very good, very good. That means we did a better job. So, here we have contact mesh. Good. That's it. Awesome. So, that means we are ready to set up our boundary conditions, set up our loads, and do our analysis but that's gonna be in the next video because we are already quite long so thank you thank you guys for watching have a great day and uh, make sure you like and subscribe tune in for the next one see ya